What's it like living in San Miguel? It's a great place to be. It's not home, but it is a wonderful place to be, and we've made it our temporary home. The weather is superb. The uh, architecture is outstanding. It's a World Heritage Site. I've also been able to, to get work as a real estate agent here. I go to school uh, full time from 7 to 10 in the morning, so I'm studying for a Mexican law degree. And also it's a walkability issue. It's, you can live anywhere in San Miguel and get anywhere on foot, so it's a really nice quality of life. There are a lot of um, Americans, Canadians, and Europeans, as well as Mexicans from all over the country who come here to vacation and to live. So it's turned out to be a good second home for us, and looking, but it's not home home. So looking forward to the opportunity to return to West Texas. This last week has been a whirlwind. Uh, it started in Mexico City with family and friends flying in from all over the world, a uh, small number of people. And we had a civil marriage ceremony in Mexico City. And then we have returned to San Miguel de Allende where we, we have our day-to-day -day lives. And we're having a, a reception this evening for friends and colleagues that I've met here in San Miguel. And hopefully when we immigrate back to the United States, we can have a big party and San Angelo and uh, let everyone meet uh, my spouse. What are my hopes for the future? My hopes for the future are to return to San Angelo with my spouse and to have an opportunity to become part of the community again and contribute and to make business and to have a life in San Angelo. San Angelo is my hometown and it's been a long time uh, for this process to come to fruition. Best case scenario, it may be the end of 2014. Uh, worst case scenario, it'll be 2019 before we can immigrate uh, back to the United States.